What's good YouTube? Uh, welcome back to another video and today I'm just going to be showing how to get your first 1000 followers if you're starting from zero. I've got to establish first that the first 1000 followers are the hardest to grow by far uh, because no one really believes in you, no one really knows you, you're literally just starting from scratch. Uh, so you have no social proof as well. So this is the stage where you have to get serious and uh, maybe even work the hardest and do not give up because after you get that thousand followers then it's gonna go a bit easier from there on so uh, stick around and I'll show you exactly what I did to get my first thousand followers if you're a theme page or if you're a business first thing you want to do upon making the new account is to optimize every single part of the account uh, what does that mean so we got four things that the viewer We've got four things that a new person will see when they get into your account. And it's not in order, it's just what they see first. The bio, the profile pic, the story highlights, and the actual post on your feed. So with your logo, make sure it's clean, make sure it's, uh, make sure it's clean, make sure it's simple, make sure it's memorable. If it's your business logo, for example, or if, it, if you're doing a theme page and you don't have a logo or you just don't have a logo, or if you don't have a logo in general, just go to Canva and make one. It takes like five minutes. Or you can get someone to make a logo for you for a cheap price. Um, if it's gonna be you, then make sure make sure it's a headshot of you, uh, just so people can see your face. And faces tend to do better on Instagram. Uh, it's just like psych psychological. Uh, story highlights. Make sure it's it's kind of like your resume. So you want to put. Uh, brief summary of who you are and it should describe who you are in a few seconds so you could put things like uh, a take a fitness page for example uh, happy clients testimonials uh, your progress stuff like that you should keep it short and don't cram it with too many stories all right then the bio keep it short as well see see the trend here just keep it short because people have a short attention span and you don't want to lose them just by uh, dragging things out so Keep it simple. People should be able to tell what you do and how you can help them in just a few seconds of reading. And then finally, your posts, make sure they are engaging. You have at least nine posts to begin with, so you have a full grid. And that just gives a better impression on the on whoever stumbles upon your page. So that's it, optimize everything. Like imagine a store and you're in the high street. Imagine like two stores, store A and store B, and you're walking down the street. That rhymed. That was a cool little, little rhyme there. Okay, let's say both of these stores are a clothes shop. Store A has like the mannequins and they're all dressed up, all nice. And then the the paint, it's like new paint and then the sign is big and clear. And then store B has like paint cracking on the walls and then one of the signs are like falling off, you know. Obviously you're gonna go to store A, right? Because it just looks more appealing from the outside. You're more likely to go and well, it's the same thing here. If you're outside, if you're like first impression, if your first impression is great, then more people are gonna be inclined to follow you. Okay, so first step. So the next thing you wanna do is to start getting traffic uh, to your page. Now how you do that, now traffic is essentially uh, people coming in, like flowing in basically. One way to do it is to go to the big pages in your niche and then go to their followers and don't follow for follow them. We're not doing that in 2021. What we want to do instead is just like go on their page and then like and comment them because they're going to get the notification that you've like interacted with them. They're going to be more inclined to check you out and then maybe even follow you provided that your uh, profile is optimized. So that's one way to do it. While you're doing that as well, you've got to be posting content and not just like uh, to fill out your nine post grid, if that makes sense. Just you need to be posting shareable content. Uh, so what that means is the way you know the content is uh, shareable just by asking the simple question Would I share this to my friend if someone else posted it? All right, and just to get some examples off the top of my head is uh, Current trends current news about make sure it's like within niche as well current trends current news motivational stuff informational stuff that people will like save for later on and uh, share it with a friend so that's just some things to keep in mind so do that as you're trying to get traffic as well and then that's gonna and it's just gonna snowball into something even bigger and then when the traffic gets to your profile what you want to do if they engage with you engage with them back 
uh, reply to their comments, pin their comments, DM them because remember, they don't know who you are. You don't have social proof. So you gotta do everything in your power to make sure they check you out and follow you. Uh, it's like having great customer service almost. So reply to their comments, just go the extra mile because remember these first thousand followers are the hardest. So you gotta over deliver and just expect nothing in return. Uh, so just like reply to their comments, DM them, start conversations in the DMs, you know, make friends. It's called social media for a reason. And to tie closely to that, I want you to be networking with uh, accounts in your niche that are have like a similar following to you. So let's say you've got 400 followers, network with people who've got like 350 or 450 or even 500 because they're going to be more likely to respond to you and then you'll get the ball rolling in the dms so don't be afraid to ask for help as well because then what you can do from there is like form a dm group you can do shout out for shout out you know shout each other out on your stories in exchange for like getting their followers to see yours to see your page right just find the opportunities and another thing just don't be afraid to ask for help like even if that means so even if that means reaching out to slightly bigger accounts lead with some value first like a compliment um, if you're gonna reach out to the big accounts or like, offer to do something for them in exchange for some knowledge because uh, a lot can change with the algorithm a lot can change with people's tastes and trends so nothing better to do than ask for help from people who are crushing it now if you need help and you don't mind asking for help then what I actually have is a free consulting club called the Instagram consulting club and what you can do is in my bio there's a link to join and, and there you'll be surrounded by some like-minded content creators who are trying to grow and monetize their Instagram account. So if that sounds good, just check the link in my bio out and I'll get you added. I post content there that I don't post on YouTube or anywhere else, just there exclusively. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know if you've been able to use these tips and let me know if you've been able to cross the 1000 follower mark recently. So I appreciate you watching, like, comment, subscribe, and that's just gonna be it.